A solid pyramid has a rectangular base of sides 15 cm by 10 cm and a height of 20 cm. It is placed inside an open cubical tank of sides 30 cm. The tank is then completely filled with water. If the pyramid is removed, what will be the depth of the remaining water in the tank? Let's say this is the pyramid. The sides of the rectangular base are 15 cm and 10 cm and the height of the pyramid is 20 cm. Place this pyramid inside a cubical container which is 30 cm by 30 cm by 30 cm and fill the tank with water. When we remove the pyramid from the container, the volume of water gets low. In this question, we are asked to find the depth of the water when the pyramid is removed from the tank. First up, we are going to find the volume of the pyramid using this formula. 1 by 3 times base area times height, which is equal to 1 by 3 times 15 times 10 times 20. So the volume of the pyramid is 1000 cubic centimeter. Now let us find the volume of the cubical tank using this formula. Length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. Substituting the values 30 times 30 times 30, which is equal to 27,000 cubic centimeters. Now the volume of water left after the pyramid is removed is going to be 27,000 minus 1,000 which is equal to 26,000 cubic centimeters. Let the depth of the remaining water in the tank is D. Again using the same formula for volume, length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height which is the depth of the remaining water in this case equals to the volume of water. Since we already know the length and the breadth and we also know the remaining volume of water, put these values into the formula. 30 multiplied by 30 is equal to 900. Now divide 900 on both sides. So D equals to 26,000 over 900. Cancel these zeros and simplify 260 over 9. So D equals to 28 whole, 8 over 9. So the depth of the remaining water is 28 whole, 8 over 9 centimeters.